Hello everyone, welcome to Root to Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve an interesting algebraic question. So, the given question is A, B, C, D are positive integers such that A to the power 5 equals to B to the power 4 and C to the power 3 equals to D square and C minus A equals to 90. Then find the value of B minus B. So, we have a given set of system of equation. So, without any delay, let's start the solution. Before going through the solution, let's take an example. Suppose 2 to the power 5 equals to 32. So, we can write that 32 is, is perfect fifth power. Okay. Similarly, let's take another example. 3 to the power 4 that is equals to 81. So, so from here we can say that 81 is the perfect fourth power. Okay. Now come to what are the given equations. So, we have a to the power 5 equals to b to the power 4 and c cube equals to d2. So, from here we can say that a is a perfect fourth power. So, we can write that a is perfect fourth fourth power. Similarly, we can write b is perfect fifth power and c is a perfect square and D is a perfect cube. Now, in the next step, we will take for A and B. There exist an integer Y such that A is Y to the power of 4 as A is a perfect fourth power and B is y to the power 5 as B is a perfect fifth power. Okay. Similarly, similarly for C and D, there exists an integer x such that for C and D, we have taken the integer x. So, we can write it as C equals to x square. And D is a perfect cube. So, we can write it as X is cube. Okay. So, we have taken A equals to Y to the power 4. B equals to Y to the power 5. And C equals to X square. And D equals to X is cube. So, we have another given equation that is C minus A equals to 90. So, let's just put the value of C and A here. So, what I am getting is c equals to x square minus a equals to y to the power 4 equals to 19. This implies this x square equals to minus y to the power 2 whole to the power 2 equals to 19. So, here we will apply an algebraic identity that is a square minus b square. So, what we are getting is x minus y square multiplied with x plus y square equals to 90. As it is already given, a, b, c, d are all positive integers. So, addition of two positive integers must be greater than subtractions of two positive integers. So, we can write that x plus y square is greater than x minus y square. Okay. In the right hand side we have 19. 19 is a prime number. So, the factors of this number is 1 and 19. Okay. So, 19 must be greater than 1. So, we can write x minus y square multiplied with x plus y square equals to. So, we have a. So, we can write x plus y square equals to. 19 and x minus 
y square equals to 1. Let's take it this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. In the next step, we will add the equations in order to find the value of x and y. So, by adding both the equations, we have this y square and negative y square get cancelled out. We have 2x equals to 20. We have x equals to 20 by 2. That is nothing but 10. Okay. By putting x equals to 10 in any of the equation, let's put the value in equation 1, what we have is 10 plus y square equals to 19. This implies this y square equals to 19 minus 10. y equals to root over of 9. This is equals to plus or minus 3. Okay. So, we found x equals to 10 and y equals to plus or minus 3. As you can see that a, b, c, d all are positive integers. So, the value of y must be a positive number that is now we are asked to find is d minus b. So, d equals to we have taken x cube and b equals to y to the power 5. So, our value of x is 10, 10 to the power 3 minus y value is 3 to the power 5. So, 10 cube is 1000 minus 3 to, the, 3 to the power 5 is 243. This equals to, this equals to 757 is our answer. I hope you have a clarity how to solve this type of thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thank you.